Hi all. In this video, let's learn about navigation between pages in the in the Next.js. So we'll learn what are the pages in Next.js, how to create the pages, what is about link component and the client side navigation as well. So this is a part two of Next.js series. Part one, I will keep at the end card. So try to watch that and come back to this video. Fine. So let's get started. So in the part one, we could able to execute the Next.js commands and executed one project and uh, set up this development server. Fine. So now let's understand what are the pages and how to create these pages. So far, we have only one page that is a default page. So this is a default page we have that we are getting from this index.js. This is a default page, but in the real world, so in the websites and the web applications, we'll be having many pages, not just one page. For that, what we need to do is, we are going to create a new page, okay? Under this pages folder, I will try to create a folder called posts. Under this post, I will create a new file, okay? I will call this as first post.js, okay? So now what I have done is, I have created a page. What does this page exactly will have? It will have a React component. Okay, and we'll export this file. That's it under these pages. So this becomes a page now. Okay, these pages are associated with the route based file names. Okay, usually uh, in the React.js, we'll use to, we used to use React router for the routing purpose. So that means you are going to install a third party library for the routing. Whereas in the Next.js, whatever you mention under the pages folder, Okay, this file name becomes one of the route. So that's the reason we call this pages. All these pages will be associated with the route based based upon this file name. Okay, so now how to create these pages? We have default, export default function, and you can keep anything as a function component name. Okay, we need to return as this is a React component. I'm just returning this as a first page component. Now we have created one page. So how to access this page? We know index.js is a default route. So that's the reason whenever you go here, we are getting this one. But how to get these pages? We have discussed, right? What is the path we have given under this pages? Okay, that would be the same path to access this page. Okay, we have created this first post under pages directory under post folder. We have post folder, we have created this. So this structure is the same to access this component. So for example, I will do post backslash first post. Okay, this is component. We could able to route back to the our first page. Fine, now we have two pages. Let's see how to navigate from one page to the another page. Okay, this is how you need to navigate to this page. Okay, you could be able to understand. So this is the same path where you have kept your file. So that all the pages, if you want to create one more page, you can just add that file name, whatever the file name, that would be the path here to access that page. So it was that simple. In this way, you can create a number of pages according to your requirement. Now let's see how to navigate from one page to the another page. To navigate from one page to the another page, we have a link component. So let's create that, import it. So we have link component and this is available in the next link. So we could able to import the link component and let me show you how to use that link component. Okay, um, I will uh, remove this. Okay, I will uh, somewhere I will do this. Okay. I will keep this link component and I will keep the href equal to now I will I need to give the path of the another page whatever it may be the page I need to give the path of that page to which page I need to route so that is what I need to mention in the href okay usually in the navigate navigating from one page to the another page in the html tags what we'll be using we'll be using an anchor tag but here in the next case we'll be using the link component here again, I will uh, I can use this a tag, but here I will I'm not mentioning any of the href. Href should be given to the link component, not to the anchor tag. Normal in the HTML tags, you you will be giving to this anchor tag. Okay, now here I will tell route to first page. So if I click this link, okay, route to page first page, I will be redirecting. I will be navigating to this page. 
so this is what we wrote i mean from the initial page we are routing or navigating to the first page okay now we'll write the same to the first page also so that from this page we should navigate back to the default home page okay import link from next link fine so here also i will use the same link component i am using the link component here i will use href now i need to go back to the home page that i will be getting with this default route if i if anywhere if you see something like this this is a default route it means you are trying to load the index.js page fine thereafter uh, we'll keep an anchor tag but we'll not mention the href only for one of the element you need to keep so that is for the href you need to uh, link component you need to give the href okay back to home page fine i, I will be ending this anchor tag now i will uh, end this link tag fine that's it you have created one page component and you have imported the link component and now you are trying to uh, navigate to the home page so let's see this how it works fine i'm uh, going back here now if i route to the first page if i click this i'm i'm getting this page so it means i'm trying to navigate to the first page here so if i click back to home this again i will route back here this we could able to achieve with the help of this link component okay fine so this is about the link component so now let's understand a small bit regarding the client side navigation if you are using the client side navigation what happens uh, i mean the href in the anchor tag if you are using href here what happens the browser will navigate to this link accordingly okay this client navigations are faster when compared to this browser navigations okay uh, for example if i give so let me show that in the browser itself so if i click something here so this browser is navigating to this page it is navigating to another page it is entirely it is reloading to reloading the another page whereas if you use link component if i click something it navigates to the next page okay this is a client side navigation okay it will not reload entire page it will just go to the page which it was described if i click back it will come so this is how the navigation works in the next chase okay in this video we could able to learn how to create the pages what the pages means and how to give the path so this is very much important what is a path where you define your file path is the same you need to define that in the url to access that page so this is the important point so later on we could able to understand with the help of link component we do, could able to navigate from one link to the another link so that's it for this video stay tuned i will uh, try to do more videos on this next chase thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos